Hello, good morning viewers. Here are some triple integrals that we are going to work on, but in this tutorial, we are going to work on the first two. Subsequently, we are going to work on the rest. Now let us start with the first one. All right, here is the first one, but you should remember that all of these triple integrals are definite integrals. And you should also know that the same principle used in working out other integrals will be the same principle we are going to apply here. But the question is, which function are we going to integrate first? You can see our function is x plus y plus z. Therefore, we are going to consider the first integral attached to our function. So we are going to integrate this function from 0 to 1 with respect to x. Our integral from 0 to 1 of x plus y plus z with respect to x. But we have only single x here which means that we are going to treat y and z as constants. So if we should integrate x with respect to x, we are going to obtain 1 over 2x squared plus y is constant. Therefore, we are going to multiply it by x. We have xy plus xz, our boundaries from 0 to 1. Now let us substitute the boundaries. This is equal to 1 over 2. Wherever we see x, we replace it by 1. 1 squared is 1 times half is half. Plus x times y, 1 times y is y, plus z. We don't have to substitute the lower bound because it is going to make everything 0. So this is our new function. And we are going to integrate this function with respect to z. You can see it right here using the second integral from 0 to 2. So we have the integral from 0 to 2 of 1 over 2 plus y plus z with respect to z. Now we are going to integrate. This is equal to, this is constant, this is constant. We are going to multiply them by z. So we have 1 over 2z plus yz plus, this is the function, if you integrate it, you have 1 over 2z squared. Our boundaries from 0 to 2. All right, wherever we see z, we substitute by 2. This is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 plus 2y plus 1 over 2, 2 squared. We don't have to substitute the lower bound because it is going to make everything 0. So let's simplify. Half times 2 is 1 plus 2y. 2 squared is 4. 4 multiplied by half is 2. So we have plus 2 here. If you further simplify, you are going to obtain 3 plus 2y or 2y plus 3. So 2y plus 3 is going to be the last function we are going to integrate with respect to y, which is this. We are going to integrate it with respect to y using the first definite integral from 0 to 3. So lastly, we have the integral of 2y plus 3 from 0 to 3 dy. All right, let us first of all integrate 2y. If you integrate 2y, you're going to obtain 2y to the power of 2 divided by 2 plus 3 is constant. We are only going to multiply it by y. Our boundaries from 0 to 3. This is equal to 2 will cancel 2. All we have is y squared. We are going to substitute y equal to 3. So we have 3 squared plus 3 multiplied by 3. 3 squared is 9. And 3 times 3 is also 9. Finally, we have 9 plus 9 equal to 18. Therefore, the first problem is equal to 18. If you integrate the whole of this function with respect to x, z, and y, you're going to obtain 18. 
So now let us take the second one, which is um, a definite integral of only a function x with respect to z, y, and x. All right, here is the problem. Um, let us start with this. So we have the integral from 0 to root x, y of only x dz. Our function is x, but we want to integrate it with respect to z. So all we have to do is to multiply it by z. So this becomes x, z from 0 to root x, y. So wherever we see z, we replace it with root x, y. So this is equal to x multiplied by root of x, y. We don't have to substitute the lower bound because it is going to make it 0. All right, let us further simplify this. Remember that from law of indices, this can be written as x multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by y to the power of 1 over 2. You know, naturally, this x has a power of 1. So if you multiply x by x, you are going to obtain x to the power of 1 plus half, which is 3 over 2. So finally, this is equal to x to the power of 3 over 2 multiplied by y to the power of 1 over 2. So this is our new function, and we are going to integrate it with respect to y from 0 to x. So we have from 0 to x of x to the power of 3 over 2 multiplied by y to the power of 1 over 2 with respect to y. So we are going to integrate it with respect to y. And we are going to treat this as constant. So this becomes x to the power of 3 over 2 multiplied by, if you integrate this, you add 1 to the power, it becomes y to the power of 3 over 2. And you have to also divide by the power, which is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, 2 over 3. Our boundary from 0 to, to x. All right, let us substitute the boundary. This is equal to x to the power of 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 over 3. Y is x, so we have x to the power of 3 over 2. We don't have to substitute the lower bound because this is going to make everything 0. Now let us further simplify. We can bring 2 over 3 back. Then we multiply by x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 using one of the laws of indices. And 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 is the same thing as 6 over 2, which is the same thing as 3. So this is equal to 2 over 3 x to the power of 3. This is our last function that we are going to integrate with respect to x. You can see the last one here from 0 to 1. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of 2. We can bring it out 2 over 3 x to the power of 3 dx. This is equal to 2 over 3. If you integrate, you have 1 over 4 x to the power of 4 from 0 to 1. From here, you can see 2 can go into 2 one time and it can go into 4 two times. So we have uh, 1 over 6. Then we are going to substitute the boundaries x from 0 to 1. So we have 1 to the power of 4 minus 0 to the power of 4. I told you, you don't have to substitute the lower bound because it is going to make everything 0. All right, 1 to the power of 4 is 1. Minus 0 is still 1. Multiply by 1 over 6 is still 1 over 6. So finally, our answer is 1 over 6. 
This means that if you take these triple integrals, which are definite integrals, you're going to obtain 1 over 6. And this is all I have for you in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.